potentially be passing for the lead with five laps to go in this race. Potentially, here it is. And I don't think William Byron is going to have anything for him. Byron trying to fight him off. Hamlin to the strike first. Harvick trying to close. And take away second. Lap cars, four of them under a blanket, dead ahead. And it's Kevin Harvick. He's going to be hungry for it, too. Don't you think he ain't willing to do what it takes? It's been a long time since he's been in victory lane. He's been hearing an awful lot about these yes. young guns, these new guys coming in and taking all the glory. Well, but he's going to have to knock an old guy out of the way with Danny Hamlin. And I'm <laughs> telling you, he, those two guys, they are hungry for a win. Need to turn their seasons around. They're side by side in front of the leader, midway down the back straightaway. Three cars are going to have trouble negotiating with two laps to go. There's that little pack, that battle going on. And Hamlin's going to get to it first. This may be Harvick's opportunity. And, and one of those cars is Harvick's teammate, the 10 of Eric Amarola. These guys are side by side. And they're not giving way. Oh, Harvick's going to move on. Top. We're coming top. to the white flag. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Where will Hamlin go? Kevin's got to run. Kevin's looking to the bottom. Hamlin's, excuse me. Almirola moved up, Hamlin made a clean pass. That's it. Within two oh. car lengths, not enough. Turn to the final time. Wow. Now this oh, is Towner, Denny, Hamlin. We heard. Checkered flag for, for Hamlin. Well, he don't have to hear from us anymore, huh? Wow. Fix their problem, fix their season, the rest is history. A win changes everything in this sport. And man, them coming back out of nowhere, running these guys down, awesome day. Great strategy, great play right there. For a guy that said he had a 15th place car this morning when we spoke to him on the red carpet, I think he just showed a different face in that car. Was it Hamlin who told you you can't win the Kentucky Derby on a three-legged mule? That's <laughs> right. And here he is. Somehow he turned a thoroughbred mule into a thoroughbred. 41 year old Denny Hamlin beats Kevin Harvick to the checkered flag. Old guys rule in Richmond. What a great race. We saw it. We knew it. We knew it was going to be strategy calls. We knew it was going to be opportunity for guys to do things. They took opportunity there. I forgot how new Burnout has he? Nope. You only led the last five laps of this race. You saw you heard him talking to spotter Chris Lambert. 47th career victory. And to win at home. What could be sweeter? Not to mention, it is the Toyota owners 400. Hey. All of our strategy work, all of our plans, what are we looking for going into this race weekend? Were these Gibbs cars going to be able to turn it around, show up, and do business at their best racetrack? They just answered that. Picked a pretty good way to score his first top 10 finish of the season. And then slid it and parked it right on the start-finish line. He's going to be pumped. <laughs> it's a big win for him. And for Coach Joe Gibbs, Toyota's first win of the season. Perfect timing rolling into Martinsville for next weekend's race. Denny doesn't run too bad there either. Not too shabby at all. Denny, where did you come from? Yeah, it was just a uh, great strategy there and just drove, drove as hard as I could and just so proud of this whole FedEx Camry team. Um, man, it's just never giving up. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind, maybe it's just a little, but uh, you know, they, they got this car right there towards the end and uh, wow, it's just unbelievable. Denny, it hasn't been an easy start to the season, not even a top 10 to the first six races. 
What does this win mean to you, to Toyota, just to kick things off here at your home track of all places? Yeah, I talked to you before the race. You know, we need a data point. We need something, uh, a good run to kind of balance ourselves on other tracks. And obviously, I think we got it here. All right, so much for that talk of the young guys. Look who's in victory lane. It's Denny Hamlin.